Krishna Su Bhagavan Sayam. What about Kaviraj Goswami is speaking not out of his own whimsical way. Whatever he is speaking he is following the parampara system. That is Vaishnavism or Acharya. Acharya man purusha veda. Stop this. <coughs> Unless we accept the Acharya in the parampara system, we cannot understand things as they are. It is not possible. So Kavidaj Goswami is describing this Chaitanya Chaitamrita strictly according to the verdict of the Shastras. His statement is that Krishna is the original personality of Godhead. Sang Bhagavan Krishna. Bhagavan is person. Bhagavan is not imperson. Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavan iti sabdat. First realization of the absolute truth by speculative knowledge is impersonal effulgence of the Lord, which is called Brahma Jyoti. Then Next realization is Paramatma, the localized aspect of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. 
But realization of Krishna, that is the ultimate realization. Sang Bhagavan Krishna. Bhagavan means six opulences. Nobody is richer than Bhagavan. Nobody is stronger than Bhagavan. Nobody is more beautiful than Bhagavan. Nobody is wiser than Bhagavan. And nobody is more renouncer than Bhagavan. That is Bhagavan. That is Bhagavan. Sang Bhagavan means he is opulent, saraisadya purna, not partially. He knows everything. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Vedahaṁ samiti itāni. He knows past, present, and future. He says, therefore, that all this, my dear Arjuna, yourself, myself, and all these soldiers and kings who have assembled here, it is not that we are not existing before. We are existing at the present moment also, and in future also we shall continue to exist. And how we shall exist? Individually. Otherwise Krishna would have said that in future, when we become liberated, then we shall become one. No. He says in in future also we shall continue to uh, exist like this. You are individually your Ujjun, I am Krishna, and all other living in. That is real understanding. Every one of us living entities, we are all individual persons. And Krishna is also individual person. This is knowledge. Nitya nityanam chetana chetananam eko jubahunam vidadati kamaan. Krishna, our God, He is also nitya, itana. We are also nitya, itana. Na hannate hannamane sarire. We do not die. That is the preliminary knowledge of spiritual understanding. That I am not this body. I am spirit soul. Ahang Brahmasmi. But I am individual. Nitya nityana. Krishna is individual person. I am also individual person. When Krishna says that sarva-dharmān paritya māmi kaṁ saranaṁ braja, it does not mean that I become one with Krishna or merge into the existence of Krishna. I keep my individuality. Krishna keeps his individuality. But I agree to uh, abide by his order. Therefore Krishna says in the Bhagavad-gītā to Arjuna that I have spoken to you everything. Now what is your decision? Individual. It is not that Krishna is forcing Arjuna. Yathe-ca-sita-thākuru. Now whatever you like and do. That is individual. This is the uh, ultimate knowledge that this Mahābhāda philosophy that to become one, merge into the existence. Merge into the existence means we merge into the order of Krishna. Our individuality at the present moment is māyā because we are planning so many things. Therefore, your individuality and my individuality clashes. But when there will no more clashing, we shall agree. Central point is Krishna. That is oneness. Not that we lose our own individuality. So, as it is stated in all 
Vedic literature and spoken by Krishna, we are all individual. All individual, Sang Bhagavan, Ekale Ishar. But the the difference is that he is the supreme ruler, Ishar. Ishar. Ishar means ruler. Actually, he is ruler. And we are also ruler, but we are subordinate ruler. Therefore, he is equally Ishar, one ruler. Ishar of Parama Krishna. In the Brahma Sangha. Equally Ishar. Ishar cannot be many. That is not Ishar. The Mahabharata philosophy is that everyone is God. That is not very right conclusion. Uh, that is Raskaram, Krishna says, Mudha. Uh, Navang Prabhupadante Mudha. One who does not submit to the Supreme Ishara, the Supreme Lord, you should know it perfectly well that here is a Mudha. Raskar. Uh, because it is not that everyone we can become Ishara. That is not possible. There is no meaning of Ishara. Uh, Ishara means the ruler. Suppose we are in a group. This is our international society. If everyone becomes ruler or acharya, then how it can be managed? No. There must be some head. That is the principle in our practical life. We follow our political leaders. We cannot say that I belong to this party unless I follow a leader. That is natural. So that is the Vedic statement. Nitya nityanam chetana chetananam. There must be one leader. Ah, the leader of the same quality, nitta. Ah, I am nitta, Krishna is nitta. Krishna is also living entity, I am also living entity. Nitta, nityana, chetana, chetanana. So, what is the difference between Krishna and me? The difference is that there are two nittas, or two chetanas. One is described as singular number, and the other is described as plural number. Nitta, nityanam. This nityanam is plural number. And nitta is singular number. So God is nitya, one, singular number. And we, we are being ruled, we are plural number. This is the difference. And how is ruling the plural number? Because eko jo bhunam vidhati kaman, he is supplying all the necessities of life, of all this plural number. Therefore, he is Ishara, he is Krishna, he is God, one who is provides all the necessities of life. He is Ishara, he is Krishna. He is God. So we can, we can very well understand that we are being maintained by Krishna and why we should not be ruled by Him. This is a fact. Now we can see in this country, in this village, Mahapur, there are so many food grains are going. But who is supplying? That is Krishna. It is not possible to grow these food grains in your factory. No, that is not possible. He is helping us. He has stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Annad Bhavanti Bhutani, unless you eat sufficiently, unless you have food grains in stock, you cannot flourish. Bhutani, Bhutani. Bhavanti. Bhavanti means flourishing. So both animals 
and men, they must eat sufficiently. There must be food grain sufficiently. So that food grain you cannot manufacture in your factory. Uh, you may start a very big factory, Goodyear tire factory, uh, but that tire also will not move when there is no supply of petrol. This is your position. You are dependent even for this tire and petrol, and what to speak of this food grain. So who is supplying the food grain? Uh, the supplying person is eko jo bahunam vidhati kamaan. That singular number, individual person, he is supplying. Uh, you can say prakriti, nature is supplying. No, nature is not supplying. Nature is the agent of supply. Real supplier is Krishna. Eko jo bahunam vidhati kamaan. That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya dhaksena prakriti suyate sacharachana. Nature is working under the instruction or the indication of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna. In Brahma Sangita also it is stated, Sisti sthiti pralaya sadhana shakti rika chayeva jasya bhavanani vivarti durga. Yes, it is a vibhārti and vibhārvanti. So nature is dependent. Although nature has got this power, very extensive power, sisti sthiti pralaya, to create, to maintain and to annihilate, such power nature has got. And therefore she is called Durga, Durga Devi. In Bengal there is great pompous uh, Durga Puja. That is nature's worship. So, but nature is jasya agaya. She is working under the order of Krishna. Uh, we, Vaishnava, it is not that we do not care for Durga Devi. Somebody they say like that. No, we offer our all respect. Because she is the agent of Krishna. But we do not accept foolishly that Durga is all in all. No, that we do not accept. Durga is the agent, working agent of Krishna. Just Shagya. Sisti sthiti palaya sadhana shakti reka chayeva jasya bhavanani vivarti durga ichhanu rupamapi jasya cha cheshtate sha. Sā-cheṣṭhate jasya ichhānu-rupam. And Krishna also confirms this. Māyā-dhakṣena-prakṛti-śvatesa-charāsa. Therefore Krishna is the supreme Ishara, controller. She is conducting the activities of the material nature. But those who are mūrās, they are captivated by the wonderful action of material nature. That is called materialist. Trivi gunamai bhavai mohita. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. They are built. Nature business is to keep you full always. And if you can surpass the bewilderment of material nature, if you agree to be controlled by the Supreme Controller, then your life is successful. Uh, therefore Chaitanya Chaitamrita author says that here is the controller, Ekala, one. Uh, and Krishna also says, Mamekam. Not that imitation Krishna. Then you will be before. Mamekam. Sarangbhaja. So all the verdict of the śāstra is the same. It is simply our misfortune that we do not understand the verdict of the śāstra. In the śāstra everything is there. So Krishna is the Supreme Lord. That is the verdict of the śāstra. In the Brahma Sangita it is in Bhagavata also say, Ite chaṁsa kalāpaṁsa krishnastu bhagavān sayam. 
Indrari, Bakulang, Lukang, Mirayanti, Juge, Juge. So try to understand. And Krishna says, Matta Paradaram Nanyo. No more should be there. Don't mis, mis, misunderstand that there is something superior to Krishna. That is Askar. So long we shall remain such as Askar, we shall not surrender to Krishna. Therefore, Krishna says, Namang prapadyante duskiti nam murha. Namang duskiti nam murha prapadyante narada. Prapadyante. Who does not surrender to Krishna? He will say that there are so many big, big persons and they do not surrender to Krishna. So they are all murhas. Yes, they are all murhas. That is the verdict of the shastra. Uh, we, we cannot make any compromise. Uh, that is not possible against the principle of the shastra. If we keep one competitor of Krishna, then we are mura. Here it is said. Adityā. Not that there is another Krishna, Dhini Krishna. No. There is no, there cannot be any competitor of Krishna. Therefore Krishna says, matta paratharam nanya. There is no more, anyone, bigger authority than me. And here is also Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrita Kaur, Kabriyaj Goswami says, Adityā. No competitor, sir. Here we are all gods. They rascal down. Then everyone is God. But the, there is competition of gods. Uh, but in case of Krishna, there is no such position, possibility. No competition. Nobody can compete with Krishna. When Krishna was present, he showed it by practical example. Nobody could compete him in either knowledge, either strength, or love affairs, or any field of activities. There was no competition. Uh, now Krishna, when was present, he married sixteen thousand wives. Where is competition? Uh, one cannot marry even sixteen wives. And he becomes God. Just see the foolishness. Even from materialistic, View, who is that God who can ma- marry uh, sixteen thousand wives? Is there any God, so-called rascal God? Is there any possibility? A uh, Krishna sword. Yes. Krishna was attempted to be killed from the very childhood when he was three months old by Putana. But he killed the Putana Rakhasi. Not he was killed. Uh, Similarly, Abhasur, Bakasur, this Asur, that Asur, simply from the beginning of his life. Last, Kongsha and others, eh, from the uh, rogues, the Asuras, they were making plan to kill Krishna as soon as he is born. Kongsha. He was planning that as soon as Krishna is born, he was trying to kill Krishna's mother, Devaki. But with the argument of Vasudev, that don't do this. Uh, your sister's son will kill you, but your sister will not kill. So let this son be born, I shall bring it to you. The Kansa believed the honorable words of Vasudev because he knew the Vasudev is very respectable, honorable man. He has promised that the children, the child will be brought to me. So he saved his sister. He was so, such a cruel. The rogues and cruel, they do not care even for mother and sister. They can kill anyone. You see? That is the rogueism. So Kansu was that type of rogue. Ah. But Vasudev, by his intelligence, saved the situation. But as honorable person, he brought all the children to Kansu. You know this history. So the Kansu, or the Asura's plan is how to kill Krishna or God. That is going on. Uh, everyone, God is dead. Uh, God is dead. When I first went to your country, the philosophy was the God is dead. Uh, 
But they admitted, no, God is living. Samiji has brought in Sankirtan. That also they admit. Yes. So God cannot be dead. If we are not ever dead, na hannate hannamane sarire, how God can be dead? That is another foolishness. God cannot be dead. Nitta, that there is no meaning of nitta. Ah. So this is the position of Krishna. He is the supreme person, supreme ruler, without any competitor. Adhitya, ah. no competition. Here we have got competition. But there, with Krishna there is no competition. There cannot be any competition. Ah. You cannot say that Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma or any other demigods, they are also as good as Krishna equally. No, that is not possible. Then you, he would not have used this word, Adityo. There cannot be any competition. If somebody puts any competitor before Krishna, he is a Pashandi. Jastu Narayanam Devam Brahma Rudradi Daivatai. Samatena vikheta sa pasandi bhavedrubam. Narayan, the supreme person, if one compares with Narayan, with such exalted demigods like Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma, Brahma Rudradi Daivatu, what to speak of other Indra Chandra? They are nothing in comparison to Brahma. Brahma is the creator of this universe. So even such creator, even so powerful demigod as Lord Shiva cannot be compared with Krishna or Diti. Cannot be compared. That is Pashandi. So Pashandi Bhavidruva. So those who are comparing the, all the demigods and Krishna, they are on the same level. You can worship anyone. They are all rascals. Uh, because here it is said, Adityo, Krishna cannot be compared with anyone else. That is Krishna, Ishara, Parama Krishna. They may be Ishara. Uh, Lord Shiva may be Ishara. Lord Brahma may be Ishara. But they cannot be Parama Ishara. That is not possible. Parameshara is Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna. So, but at the same time, Nanda Atmaja or Bhushideva Atmaja. That is Krishna's mercy. That is dealing between his devotee and himself. Although nobody can become Krishna's father, because he is the original father, Ahammadidhi Devanam, but he agrees to become the son of his devotee. This is called uh, uh, devotional dealing. Uh, Shanta dasa sakha basala ras. This is a dealing of basala ras. The father, nobody can become father of Krishna. That is not possible. He is the father. Ahanga bija padapita. He is the original father. But how Nandatmaja, how Nanda Maharaj can become the father of Krishna? Uh, no. That father means he wanted to become the best servant of Krishna. When I become father of my child, I am the best servant of the child. Actually. Uh, you see the children moving out. The mother is taking care. Uh, so uh, the mother is the best servant of the child. So this is Vaishnava philosophy. They want to become one with the God. But we keep ourselves all as servant of God. And to become the best servant of God is also to become his father and mother. This is Nanda Atman. Ah. Therefore one devotee prayed, Aham yang si nandanga bande jashalinde para brahma. Suti ma pare, siti ma pare. The devotee is praying that somebody is studying the Vedas, somebody is studying the Puranas, the Smitis, Sruti Mahapare, Smriti Mahapare, uh, and somebody is studying Mahabharata uh, to understand God. But the devotee says, 
I do not want to understand God. I want to worship Nanda Maharaj under his in the courtyard of his house. The Para Brahma is crawling. That is Nanda Atma. That is the uh, I mean to say superior position of Nanda Atma, Nanda Maharaj. Uh, so this is philosophy. An ordinary man cannot understand, but Vaishnava uh, philosophy is so nice that instead of becoming one with the Supreme, they want to become the father of the Supreme. This is Vaishnava philosophy. Nandātma. Roshika Sekha. This is also a pleasure. Krishna wants to be subordinate to his devotee as son. So that he may be punished. He is punishing everyone. But he wants to be punished also. That is his pleasure. And who will punish him? His father and mother. Or superior. Or superior lover. Radharani can punish him. So this Krishna consciousness movement is very scientific and sublime. Try to understand. Always read the books. Don't try to understand Krishna ordinarily. Manishalam sahasri su kaschit jata ti siddhaya. Jata tam ibisiddhyanam kaschit veti maan tata. To understand Krishna is not so easy. But if you follow the Mahajan, if you try to understand the philosophy through the parampara system, then you will realize Krishna and your life will be successful. Thank you very much.